Hey everyone, so Apple's MacBook keyboards have been plagued with issues. And honestly, I downplayed most of those issues because I wasn't directly affected. But that changed a few weeks ago when my spacebar became unresponsive and then again with my shift key. Although these incidents were a few weeks apart, things quickly became real. So I looked into the issue and it seems that a few people were severely affected to the point where compressed air wasn't gonna fix their issue. And replacing the keyboard was basically their only viable option. And that's what I'm afraid of. So I decided to look into keyboard covers and I think I found the best of the bunch. One that doesn't hinder the typing experience nearly as much. And at the same time, it protects your investment. Physically, the keyboard cover looks great. It isn't completely clear, but rather a frosty clear, which makes the keys look a bit gray. However, you can barely tell that there's a cover on the keyboard from certain angles. The keyboard cover was made with precision. And I mean, trying to remove it takes some effort, and that's a good thing. So if you're concerned about the cover moving around, don't be. The keyboard cover is secure, and if you really want that extra peace of mind, they do include an adhesive that locks the keyboard in place. But I think most people won't need it, and I certainly don't. However, I'm happy that it was included. Seriously, the keyboard cover remains in place. So while typing, the keyboard won't be bouncing around and interfering with the typing experience. Not only does the cover keep the keyboard clean, but it also makes the keys less noisy, at least with this MacBook Pro from 2017. And this alone is a benefit for most people, especially for those with earlier versions of the butterfly keyboards, which were generally much louder. Okay, so the typing experience is an interesting thing. So it actually took me two full days to completely adjust to it. At first, I wasn't okay with the typing experience because it felt different. But once I adjusted to the slight change in tone and feel, I was right back to typing like my usual self again. Basically what I'm saying is that the keyboard cover introduces a learning curve. Although the learning curve is small, it is a learning curve. Basically when I type on the cover, I have to remember to type with a bit more force to ensure that every key is pressed appropriately. It really isn't that significant, but there is a difference, and it's important that I point that out. When you strike the key on the edge, it requires a bit more force to register the key, if that makes sense. So sometimes when I hit the key on the edge, with not enough force, it won't register. And that's because the rigidity of the plastic, it's a bit stronger on the edges, and it requires a bit more force to bend that part of the plastic. But again, with practice, you sort of feel how much force is necessary to ensure that every edge press is registered. And obviously hitting the keys right in the center works just fine. But I think the vast majority of people will immediately like the keyboard cover. And although it did take me a few days to adjust, I now thoroughly enjoy it. And I like how clean it keeps my MacBook Pro. So if you are considering this cover, make sure that you give it a proper shake. Basically any MacBook Pro with the butterfly design needs a keyboard cover to ensure its functionality. But really any machine design between 2015 and 2017 basically requires a keyboard cover, as those keyboards were the most affected. As those machines do not include a membrane, which makes the keys a bit more durable to dust. And even those keyboards are still not fail-proof, but definitely an improvement. But since my machine was designed in 2017, it basically demands a keyboard cover to prevent failure. The keyboard cover shouldn't be a requirement, and I think we can all agree on that. But even if Apple's keyboard was as reliable as they once were in the past, a keyboard cover provides other protective benefits. Plus the keyboard cover is completely washable. So after a few weeks or a few months, you can remove it and wash it thoroughly. At this point, a keyboard cover is basically a must for all MacBooks, including the newest models. And thankfully, these modern covers are so thin that they barely make a change in the typing experience. This is probably the best keyboard cover that you can buy today. And regardless of which MacBook you own, if it has a butterfly keyboard, there's a possibility that the keyboard issues will affect you. So adding this keyboard cover is the best way of ensuring your keyboard's reliability long term. Plus it keeps things clean as most keyboards can get pretty dirty if not maintained. Anyways, if you guys are interested in the keyboard cover, I will link it down below. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. And as always, I will catch you guys next time.